Jennifer with Mindful Movement, Mindful Living, and I am here today with a one of my favorite fall recipes, actually. Really simple and healthy. I love pumpkin spice seasoning and cinnamon, all those flavors of fall. Usually we see them in like baked goods or sort of processed drinks or coffee drinks, that sort of thing. But this is a really nice health, healthy way to incorporate those fun fall flavors um, if you enjoy them as much as I do. This is also one of the most popular smoothie recipes in my house. Um, I love this, but also my children love this and I sometimes even make it for my classes. When I'm teaching, I'll bring a big thermos in um, or bring it to friends. So, um, so it's one of my signature fall recipes for sure. Um, and it has an unexpected ingredient in it too, so you'll see. But this is nice, it's, it's simple and it's healthy and it's, uh, you know, you can make it in a, in, a, in a few minutes really. So I'll start, so to start, so we have, so this is gonna be enough, what I usually am doing in my house is making a smoothie for myself and my two daughters. So this is enough for three people. If you need more or less, it's pretty easy to adapt the amount of you know ingredients that you need. Um, or sometimes even if it's more than I need, um, if it maybe it's just me and one of my children or just me, I will still make enough for three and then I'll just save the rest for, for later and then it's ready to go later. So, um, so you can kind of see what works for you. So I'm gonna start, this is just three cups of water. If you like it a little bit sweeter, if you have more of a sweet tooth, um, you can use coconut water or part coconut water and part regular water. That works as well, that works really well too. Um, but I'm just gonna put three cups of water in here. And it goes, good. And there's my base. And then from here, I usually do it in this order just because I feel it blends up the best. Though honestly, I have I love this blender. I think it would blend anything, but this is the order I usually do it in. So um, then I do a half of a frozen banana. So I just buy them, snap them in half, and keep them in the freezer so they're ready to go at a moment's notice. So half a banana, and it goes. If you don't have a banana, um, it's not a game changer. I often don't have bananas or don't maybe I don't want it to be as thick I won't do the banana so that's optional as well um, another thing I use to make it a little thicker and also just nice healthy is just some plain yogurt so this is just plain yogurt so I just put a little bit of that in so this is a third of a cup of yogurt that I'm putting in right now and then I put here's my unexpected ing I think it's unexpected right? my unexpected ingredient is butternut squash so you can use fresh. I often, because I'm doing these in the morning and it's a rush, I often sort of pre-cube everything and freeze it. So it's just sort of ready to go when, I'm, when I need it. Um, you could certainly use fresh, but I just have these cubed and they are frozen, ready to go. So let's stick these in. That's about a cup of frozen butternut squash cubed up. And then um, fresh ginger, or or you could buy it fresh and then freeze it. So I actually usually buy it, <laughs> like everything else, I buy it fresh, I cut it up, and then I just freeze it in little cubes. So I already pre-cubed it and then froze it, and it's easy to drop in. So it's about maybe like a one inch little cube of ginger. And then here's my pumpkin pie spice. So I just put a little bit of this in. So about a tablespoon of the pumpkin pie spice. And then I like it a little extra cinnamony, if that's a word. <laughs> um, so I put a little extra cinnamon um, on top too. My, I love cinnamon, my kids love cinnamon, so. Tons of cinnamon here. So I put about another tablespoon of cinnamon just to kind of top it off. And that is it. So it's nice and simple. So from here, I'm just gonna put the top on and blend it up. And it's done. So it's that simple. Just if, especially if you pre if you pre cut everything and have it frozen, this really takes about a minute to do in the morning, it's a, or maybe two. <laughs> it's really easy. So this is my my favorite fall recipe. It's healthy, it's a great start to the day, or maybe a, a midday meal or, or a snack, but my pumpkin spiced smoothie. 
So I hope you like it as much as we do at my house. <laughs> and I hope you have a wonderful fall um, enjoying all these seasonal flavors. Thank you so much.